Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Today we'll be taking a look at updating our rooted Pixel 3 to the Android 11 Beta 3 build. And this is the final beta according to their timeline and this was released just about three days ago. And we are almost at the final release of Android 11, which is exciting. So I will be doing this update using the OTA update method. Uh, and this is only because Google decided to give me an OTA update to beta 3. When I was on beta 2, it didn't give me one for 2.5. And when I was on 1, they most certainly did not give me an update to beta 2. So, you know, I don't know why sometimes you don't get OTA updates. Sometimes you just don't. And so when people ask me, oh, why don't you just do the OTA? I said, I'd love to, but I don't get one. So I can't really show you that. Uh, but, you know, today is a fantastic day. I've received an OTA update for uh, an incremental update here, as you can see, for 222 megabytes. So why don't we get started with the OTA upgrade? And we'll go through these steps that are outlined on the, in the link down below, some documentation for Magisk. Uh, but this is how you'll go about doing it. So um, first and foremost, this won't work at all if you've done any modifications to either the system or the vendor partition, um, or any read-only partitions for that matter. So you need to go to the developer options and make sure um, automatic system updates is turned off. So that is step one done. And the next thing you need to do is go into Magisk and you'll need to actually uninstall Magisk. So here we go, we're gonna tap on the red bin icon and we need to tap on restore images. And hopefully this restores images and says the restoration is done. If not, all you need to do, you might need to uh, install Magisk again, patch the stock boot image again, and then try to restore it. So um, that might be another way to do it, but otherwise uh, you, this might not work out for you either because you must be able to restore the images, otherwise the installation for the OTA will fail. And now once you've done that, so once that's been uninstalled and you've restored images, why don't we head over to our system update and tap on download and install. And uh, what is this, using metered Wi-Fi, uh, let's continue. So we'll let that download and uh, we'll just need to wait here. And um, well, let's resume. And we'll wait for it to download and uh, do you know step one of the update and whatever it needs to do. Pretty much before it asks you to restart or reboot your phone to complete, uh, we'll need to install Magisk to the inactive slot. And I'll show you how to do that. And after that, all you have to do is tap on the reboot button within Magisk as that will um, force your device to swap over to the other slot. And that's pretty much about it. So obviously a lot simpler and probably a lot quicker than having to dig through the factory images. Uh, well, depending if this goes smoothly. I'll be quiet now and uh, we'll wait for this to finish up and I'll see you when the update finishes. Alrighty, so our system update is pretty much ready to take effect now. And it says restart now, but don't press that. Let's go back to Magisk Manager. And this is where we'll install Magisk to the inactive slot, uh, which is the one will be activated after we uh, reboot with the OTA. So. Here's the installation options, let's click next. In the method here, let's turn on install to inactive slot. And now this uh, message just says that if you're on slot A, you'll be, uh, your device will change over to the other slot. So only do this uh, when you uh, have just taken an OTA and we've just about to do that. So we can hit okay and let's tap on next and let's go. Alrighty, so this is pretty exciting for me. Uh, I don't always get to, uh, you know, reboot our phone using the OTA updates, but let's have a look. So let's reboot our phone here and fingers crossed we'll be able to boot up without any problems and uh, rooted on Android 11 beta 3. Okay, so here we go. We're booted up here again and everything looks okay so far. At least we booted up. And okay, phone is starting. Let's just verify. Okay, we're finishing a system update, which is also good, but let's check the build number just to make sure. And um, there we go. There we are. So beta three is down here, which is really nice. And uh, why don't we have a look and see if we're still rooted, which is probably what we're all here for. And all we can do is say, yes, we are rooted, which is fantastic. I'm very happy actually. Uh, that this has worked so well when it usually doesn't. And hopefully once you take one OTA update, hopefully you'll actually be able to keep on getting these updates as you go along, provided that you actually get 
the OTA push to your device, which is another story on Google's behalf. So if you do get it and it's not some kind of insanely large download, uh, well, it might change because we're almost heading into the final release of Android 11 and that might incur a larger download. But at least, you know, uh, for the monthly updates, you might not actually have to download the factory image all the time, especially if you don't plan on using it a lot. And everything is still here. All my modules are still here, which is really awesome. And everything still works, which is also another plus. So thank you guys for watching. And this is how you update your rooted Pixel 3. And if you get an OTA update, to do it straight from your phone without the need of a computer, which is even awesomer. Alrighty, so thank you so much guys for watching this video. If you have any other questions, feel free to leave it down below, uh, or even better yet, please join us on Discord. Just makes it easier to chat and to share pictures uh, of what's happening and what's wrong. And as always, happy flashing. Also before I had a problem, when I did get an OTA update, it I guess my phone wasn't really uh, up to scratch in terms of where the software was at, so it would actually download 1.5 gigabytes, so the full OTA pretty much. And at that point I thought, what's the point of all this? And one time I even tried it and it didn't even work out properly. So I was like, screw it, I'll just go with the factory image. But I'll just share quickly um, how I was able to get to this stage here, at least I think this works. Basically what I did was download the full OTA for beta 2.5 and I sideloaded that in the stock recovery. Um, and that means you'll be unrooted for a little bit. And then I downloaded the beta 2.5 factory image and patched the boot image using Magisk to reroot. And then when I checked the OTA again, I actually got an OTA update for, you know, the 220 megabyte file. So, which is good. 